Hi, it's Evan from WCCF Tech, and we've got some interesting news regarding the AMD Instinct MI210. AMD has more Instinct MI200 series cards on the way for the HPC segment based on its brand new Alderbaran CDNA2 GPU architecture. The latest card that's being talked about is the Instinct MI210, which features a single graphics compute dot. With the Instinct MI250X and MI250, AMD brought MCM technology to the data center and HPC segment. Based on the new CDNA2 architecture, the new Alderbaran GPU offers immense power aimed at HPC and data center segments. But there are more MI200 series cards on the horizon and the MI210 is just one of them. Unveiled by George Marco Manalis, an engineer working on the upcoming Lumi supercomputer and lead HPC scientist at CSC, who got remote access to the AMD Instinct MI210, has stated that it boasts some impressive specs out of the box. Georgia shared that the Instinct MI210 features a single GCD, which means it is a completely new model and doesn't feature both GCD dies on the board. The single GCD is equipped with 104 CUs out of the 128 CUs featured on the Alderbaran chip. Even though the higher MI250X features just 110 CUs enabled per die for a total of 7,040 stream processors, the MI210 is housing 6,656 stream processors. In addition to the core count, the AMD Instinct MI210 also rocks 64GB of HBM2E memory, which is half the amount of the Instinct MI250X, but twice the memory capacity over the Instinct MI100. And that was the flagship just a few months ago, until it got replaced by the MI250 series. We don't have the exact flops for this card, but assuming that it's clocked around the same 1700MHz as the Instinct MI250 accelerators are, we're looking at around 22-23 to 23 teraflops of FP64, and 44 to 46 teraflops of FB32 compute power. This should give some heated competition to the NVIDIA A100, which isn't expected to get an update until GTC next year. George also shared that the AMD Instinct MI210 is around 40% faster than the Instinct MI100 in Babelstream with HIP. Given the cutdown specifications, we can expect the TDP to fall around 300 to 350 watts. And since this is a single GCD accelerator, we can also expect to see a 4096 bit bus interface at 3.2 gigabytes per second pin speeds for a total of 1.6 terabytes per second bandwidth. The MI210 accelerator should launch in both OAM and PCIe form factors and will start shipping to priority HPC customers and partners soon. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.